Hi there. I want to stand in front of those gorgeous flowers. Can you see this garden? It is absolutely spectacular. I'm just going to give you a little tour here. It is really beautiful. Can you see that? And bees galore. Okay, so uh, the guidance that I've been receiving the last couple of days has been kind of interesting. And um, why am I wearing this wedding dress? Well, it's not, it's not a wedding dress. However, what I will tell you is that the guidance I got yesterday was wear what you have. And this dress happened to be trying to jump out of my closet. And so today I am wearing it. I have worn this dress one time for one photo shoot. If you go to my website, I think it's maybe on a page somewhere, maybe. And here's the truth. We all have things in our closets, in our fridge, in our pantries that we're not using, right? How delusional are we about what we have and what we need? Um, somebody invited me yesterday to a, a, um, some new clothing launch for yoga wear. And <laughs> so I went, and I, I need a, a new yoga top, so I thought. And I looked at all of this, the things that they had, and I thought, you know, I already have a top. Why do I need another one? And what I want to ask you is, what percentage of the clothes that you own do you think that you wear? Do you wear 50% um, of your stuff, 20%, 80%? What do you think? What is the percentage of the clothing that you have that you wear? And then the second question is, do you know what's in your pantry? Do you know how much food you have? Okay, let me just look here. <laughs> Okay, so I, I, there was a study done about the waste that we have, you know, clothing waste, food waste. So with us sitting at home and, and having all of this time, here's something that we need to be doing. <laughs> we need to be focusing on ourselves and how much time do we waste? How much, how much energy are we wasting? How much complaining are we doing? While we're complaining about what our government isn't doing, what are we not doing? Are we um, wasting our time? Are we focusing on the wrong things? All this time that we have right now is a gift. And if we're not using this time wisely, we're wasting it. You know, rather than complaining about, oh, geez, the government won't let me out of my house. Think about it the other way around. I have all this time that I can now focus on myself, that I can do self-healing, self-introspection, that I can spend making love to my wife or, uh, you know, boyfriend or whoever it is that you want to make love to, that you're spending time with your animals, that you are spending time with yourself, that you're going inward, looking at your shadow stuff, the, you know, the stuff that keeps coming up and bugging you. Eliminate those triggers. Work on the things, you know, the, the things that keep you stuck. How about spending that time wisely? So back to the clothing thing. I'm going to circle back around. So this study that was done um, it was about how delusional are we about the amount of stuff that we have in our closets. And the Belgians, the Belgians were the worst, the most delusional. They thought that they wore, um, <laughs> they thought they wore 88% of their stuff when they really only wore 26% of their clothes. And Italy and Switzerland were right behind. And now the Americans, although we are fairly um, aware of, of the amount that we waste, we still uh, had 82% of unworn clothing. 82% of the clothing in your closet and in your drawers you're not wearing. Here's a great time to rotate your stuff. Something's falling, <laughs> falling out of the sky on me. So 
so what is it that you haven't worn? You know, I, I went to put uh, popcorn away into a bin, and when I opened up the bin, I found a sweater that I had been missing for the last nine months. Didn't know where it was. Thought I might have left it behind somewhere. So what I've noticed is that there is a lot of time and a lot of focus outward. What's the government doing? What are they doing to us? What are they making us do? What lies are they telling us? And while all of that is going on, hang on a second, just like turn it back in. What lies are we telling ourselves? What are we not responsible for while we're focusing on what others are doing? So it is time, it is time for us to take responsibility for our actions. Focus on being in alignment with ourselves, being in the highest truth of who we are, connected, you know, with source in alignment so that we can be in joy. Because if you're not in joy, you're not in alignment. When we are happy with ourselves, happy with our home, happy with our stuff, we are in alignment. So now is the time to, to get in alignment with who you truly are and stop lying to yourself about the problem being out there. We are our own worst enemy. And I, I will t I'll tell you this, I, I, someone sought my counsel about their daughter yesterday and she said, you know, um, she keeps, it seems to be that she's getting abused by her boss. And her boss is texting her at like 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. And I said, well, what is she saying to stop that? Is she saying, you know, I appreciate your text at this time, but I work till 6 p.m. And after that, I'm not going to receive any messages from you and then I will respond when I go back to work on Monday at 8. And now if we're working from home, you know, what are your hours? So we need to be responsible for our own actions. So if someone is abusing us, do we have healthy boundaries? We need to be looking at these things. We, we can't be complaining about being victims because that's a choice, right? This is all about choosing. Are you choosing wisely? Where are you choosing to spend your time? Where are you focusing your energy? Are, are you focusing on love? Or are you focusing on hate? Are you focusing on fear? Or are you focusing on faith? Because when we focus on faith, we know that everything will be okay. It always is. Money always shows up. It always does. I'm always taken care of. It, that's the way it always has been. I am always taken care of. And, and so when we are in alignment with the highest truth of who we are, we choose wisely. We're not pointing fingers at other people. We're taking responsibility for ourselves. So I, I'm just going to tell you a little story. Um, I love stories. And uh, using myself as an example, I was molested as a child. I, I had lots of abuse in my childhood. I perpetuated that story for quite a number of years until I was thoroughly sick of hearing it myself. But here's what I'll tell you is even after I stopped telling the story, what I was putting out to the universe was that I'm a victim, that I... I felt put upon, that I didn't have enough love as a child, that I wasn't loved. But here's the thing, people, we have got to parent ourselves. We have to be responsible for ourselves and our lives. And we can't continue to blame what happened back then for what's going on today. We have to lovingly accept ourselves. We have to love all of us instead of going, well, I'm too fat and I don't make enough money and I don't have enough clients and, 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 and people don't treat me right and I'm being abused by my spouse and my kids don't listen. That's all victim stuff and nobody is a victim. So what I will tell you is when I stopped, 
when I really stopped living in victimhood, everything changed. And, and so I became responsible because I had a doctor say to me, oh, that fibromyalgia, you're going to have it the rest of your life. Oh, that Epstein-Barr, you will have that forever. And I was like, oh, oh no, I won't. My doctor told me I did too much reading. I did too much research, but that's what I did. I took care of myself. I was responsible for my own health. So we need to be responsible for our choices. Eat good, healthy foods. Because if we get diabetes, it's because what we did to ourselves. It's not something that was done to us. We are responsible for our health. We are responsible for our happiness. So what are you going to do? What will you do to take care of you? Will you choose the right foods? Are you going to go for the packaged processed stuff that's easy? So um, we need need a healthy diet of, yes, some protein, but um, lots of berries and leafy green vegetables kale and spinach and cauliflower and broccoli and asparagus and you know healthy foods make healthy choices what we choose for ourselves is either going to hurt us or allow us to thrive you know um, I didn't get this to be where I'm at without taking care of myself and of course you know I have a mother who's going to be 98 in July and she's slim, slimmer She's slimmer than I am. And, you know, she eats a healthy, healthy diet. She eats very little meat. She does eat meat, but very little. And her portions are small because, you know, as we become adults, we're not growing anymore. So we don't need to eat as much as we did when we were kids. If if we are 10% heavier, 10% heavier than we were when we got out of college or even high school, that's as much weight as we are meant to gain, more than 10%. So, so let's just say I weighed 118 when I graduated. So if I weigh more than 128, because that's 10%, right, approximately, maybe if, if I gain more than that, that's too much weight. And, and so we have to be responsible for ourselves, keeping our, our health in check and, and choosing the best things for us and that also means not watching a bunch of conspiracy theories because I'm telling you they will drive you literally mad and and very fearful so stay stay (laughs) stay true to yourself stay in alignment stay in faith and and to be out of fear we we have to you know we have to pray but we meditation is the best way to to stay in alignment and I am meditating now three times a day and I have the time to do so I did it in 2012 when I became awakened and so if if you want if you want information about how I did it I have articles um, I'm trying to think of what it's called at how to create heaven on earth there's that one so you can google Jennifer Elizabeth Masters heaven on earth you can uh, you can Google self-realization, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I have all kinds of articles about that, and not all gurus wear turbans, and and so <laughs> we are responsible for what we see, what we view, what we digest, and it's not just what we put in our mouths; it's what we put in our our uh, mind. We have to be very careful about what we watch and what we listen to, and so you know, spend your time wisely. And this is the perfect time to be in full alignment with the truth of who you are. And when we're in full alignment with the truth of who we are, we feel expanded, we feel beautiful, we feel radiant. And that radiance, you know, is is what we exude. And this is how we heal the planet. It is not by pointing the fingers at the politicians and saying, damn it, you're not doing your job. We all have a job to do. So let's do our job well and just watch how this beautiful earth that we live in heals itself. 
look at how the, the pollution has diminished, how the Venice channels have cleared up enough for swans and dolphins to be swimming in them. And, and the Himalayas, you know, are clear enough for people to see because the cars aren't driving around. You know, maybe this is the new, the new wiser. Maybe we're all learning something about how to be better stewards of ourselves and the earth in this process. So instead of trying to rip your government a new one, how about enjoying this for what it is? It's a reset for all of us to come into alignment and help the earth and everyone else heal. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, share it with a friend. I have YouTube videos you can also subscribe to. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Thanks so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you being here and sharing. Thank you so much. Uh, have a beautiful rest of your day.